Sometimes we remember the past and what people wore with reverence, worshipping the fashion gods that came before us. Just as often we glance back in time and think, what the absolute hell were we thinking? Poodle skirts? Leg warmers? And so many trucker ads. People saved up money to purchase these specific fashion fads. And every decade has its own fashion faux pas. But the 10 year period where fashion really spiraled out of control, the decade when people truly lost their minds has got to be the 1970s. I'm Nostalgic Nick for Do You Remember? And today we're venturing down the rabbit hole of terrible 70s fashion. If you like stepping into our closet, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more. But till then, tie on your ascots, zip up your jumpsuits, and pop some tops, because here we go. Terry cloth clothes. If you hear the term terry cloth and think, okay, I have no idea what that is, you better think again. Find your nearest washcloth, nuzzle it close to your face, and boom, chances are you've had a close encounter with the terriest of cloths. And guess what? Terry cloth makes a great hand towel. Its unique weaving on special looms allows it to absorb more liquid than the average fabric. Great for cleaning up spills. Now imagine the same fabric encasing from head to toe a slightly sweaty, slightly overweight, very hairy, middle-aged man. Not exactly a pretty picture. And yet in the 70s, full terry cloth jumpsuits were all the rage. Maybe people were attempting to multitask. Pop topping. All right, we have to take a second or a minute or an hour to reminisce about pop topping. Because I think people who experienced this fashion disaster have bottled the experience way deep down inside them. Before the introduction of today's stay on tabs for beer and soda, the world was forced to make do with pop tops, in which the ring used to open a can of delightful beverage would then come all the way off. Naturally, someone in the 70s had the grand idea to fashion these pop tops into clothes. And the results are exactly what you would think. Sometimes you look like a knight who would soon meet a tragic end. Other times an attendee of the Kentucky Derby in the post-apocalyptic future. Needless to say, this recycling fashion trend did not last. Phew, I need a cold one. Plaid from head to toe. Oh, plaid. Plaid is fine. Plaid is great. Whether on a lumberjack deep in the woods, or a Brooklyn hipster deep in his espresso. Plaid shirts served their purpose, but plaid pants were starting to tread on some dangerous territory. And combine the two, the result is the 1970s horror show that was the plaid suit. But Nick, you say, maybe the plaid suits of the 70s were subtle and classy. Hard stop, I'm afraid not, my friends. Back in the day, plaid suits went one of two directions directions, either so garishly loud that they became your whole personality, or so bland and boring they looked as if a sofa store with leftover fabric suddenly pivoted into the world of fashion, a trend that hopefully remains buried in the couch cushions of the past. Leisure Suits Quick, picture someone wearing a suit. You probably have a pretty classy image in mind. Don Draper from Mad Men, perhaps. And for most of fashion history, that's exactly what a suit has been. A super chic piece of formal wear that made you look so damn good. But leave it to the 1970s to reinvent the suit and give us a leisure suit to ruin the look for everyone. With newly invented synthetic fibers becoming widely adopted in the fashion world, suddenly suits weren't a super expensive, only on special occasions item for the middle and lower classes. You could afford to dress like those big wigs on Madison Avenue all the time. Unfortunately, these appropriately named leisure suits traded silk for polyester and often came in horribly loud and ugly patterns. Ultimately, people who were trying to look classy ended up epitomizing horrible 70s fashion. And the leisure suit has fortunately turned into a punchline. Shrink tops. Someone who didn't live through the 70s can be forgiven for not knowing what the hell shrink tops are, because they sound like something used to keep food fresh. So let's introduce our younger viewers to the tasteless terror that seemed awful even back then. Shrink tops were extremely tight, fairly tacky short sleeve sweaters knit from brightly colored yarn. 
They were meant to fit snugly over a blouse. Coming in a wide variety of patterns and colors, shrink tops certainly made a bold fashion statement. But please don't let this 70s fashion trend go the way of tie-dye and make a comeback today. Just shrink away now, thank you. Ultra-wide everything. One of the most insidious fashion trends of the 1970s was the gradual widening of, well, everything. We'll start with collars. Throughout the decade, suit and shirt collars, especially for men, grew wider and wider until it looked like they could just start flapping and fly you down to the disco. Efficient, but not a great look. Moving on to ties. Say bye-bye to the narrow, classy ties of the 60s, replaced instead by fat, squat ribbons of cloth. Because as we all know, short and stubby just oozes chic. And finally, we have bell bottoms. Now, I have nothing against a little flare around my ankles, but when you can use your pants to safely jump out of a plane, okay, yeah, that's where I draw the line. Fortunately, fashion has shrunk back to normal widths these days. No shrink tops, no, we're done with you. Goodness, those are persistent. Turtleneck and blazer. Now let's move on to one of the worst mashups ever. Or as I like to think of it, the pineapple on pizza of the fashion world. And if that analogy is a bit confusing, let me explain. Blazers, like pizza, are super cool. Perfect for any situation. They never fail to make you feel good. Now, turtlenecks, like pineapple, are perfectly acceptable. Both have their time and place. Maybe your neck is cold. Maybe you're a beatnik poet from the 50s. Maybe you're making a fruit salad. But bring the two together, and all you're left with is a gross mess. No, seriously, even the king of cool, Steve McQueen, did not look cool in a turtleneck and blazer. One exception is Jack Nicholson in The Shining, because the combination of turtleneck and blazer drove him insane, and he tried to murder his family. So yeah, you should probably stay away from this fashion faux pas. Vinyl jumpsuits. Vinyl, you say? Isn't that what records and the couch in my great aunt Sally's basement are made of? In other words, plastic? Yes, people in the 1970s thought it was a great idea to bedeck themselves from ankle to neck in shiny, unbreathable plastic. I'm no expert, but that seems like it would make the hottest thing in the disco not the beats or the dancing, but a person's body temperature slowly rising to dangerous levels. It puts a whole new meaning to the Bee Gees staying alive. Ascots. Ah, the ascot. A silly name for a silly piece of clothing. The ascot is a type of neckwear that evolved from the even more complicated and pretentious cravat in the 19th century. Basically a looped floppy tie. Although the ascot had disappeared from men's fashion by the dawn of the 1900s, British hipsters in London during the swinging 60s brought the tie back. And it unfortunately lasted way past its sell-by date. By the mid-70s, it was basically a handkerchief tied around your neck usually paired with some other hideous garment. Leisure suits and ascots worked beautifully together to completely neuter the human sex drive. Fortunately, by the end of the decade, only Fred from Scooby-Doo was still plugging away on the ascot train. And hopefully, no one except Austin Powers rocks them in the future. Yeah, baby! <laughs> and there you have them some of the most atrocious fashion trends of the 1970s. So now it's honesty hour. Which of these did you used to tool around town in? Everyone has to be guilty of one. And did we leave out any terrible trends that you remember? Let us know in the comments below. We read every one. Be sure to leisurely hit that thumbs up button for us and subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, you'll wake up tomorrow and everything you own will have gone plaid. As always, from all of us here at Do You Remember, thank you for watching.